Can you imagine a world without Facebook? Stick around to find out if Meta is the death of Facebook. The largest company loss in history is finally taking place, and everyone is talking about it. Facebook, now Meta, and their collapsing stock values. The organization Meta has gained notoriety for several reasons. Everything from staff accepting bribes and hacking user accounts to a falling stock price has happened recently. Large layoffs, a business strategy that is losing effectiveness, and a metaverse project that is failing. If nothing changes, it appears that the company everyone has grown to despise is in great danger. And Mark Zuckerberg and Meta investors are very unhappy. Their most recent financial report revealed a 52% decline in net earnings. So let's bring you up to date in case you didn't know. They've seen sluggish growth and their sales and profit have decreased. Earlier in 2022, the market value of Meta reached close to a trillion dollars. As of December 2022, it's only worth a third as much. Since the decline has been so abrupt, the stock price has returned to January 2016 levels. Meta is the worst performing stock in the whole S&P 500 in 2022 with a fall of 70%. To put that in context, Mark Zuckerberg's net worth was estimated at around $142 billion in September 2021. Fast forward to December 2022 and his net worth is $34 billion. We need to go back to 2005 to get a clear grasp of why Meta is crashing. In addition to assisting Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's former president, Sean Parker, would also assist Zuckerberg to take full leadership of the company. Under Sean's direction, Zuckerberg set up the business so that he effectively became the supreme ruler. Even the board of directors had to submit to his authority. He couldn't be touched and he would remain like this forever. The company would consequently suffer as a result of this dictatorship. In the 2010s, customers shifted away from desktop computers and towards smartphones. Even though Facebook adapted, Mark Zuckerberg desired more, which led Facebook to release its own smartphone. That was a complete failure, and in 2014, Zuckerberg discovered what he thought would be the future. He bought Oculus for $2 billion and was so confident that that was it, he changed the company's name to Meta and spent $10 billion each year on research to make his dream a reality. Although it appears that technology in general is heading in the direction of a VR universe environment for the masses, there is a problem. Meta may be able to hold on if this future is 5 years away, but if it's in 10 years, shareholders won't put up with it. Investors get the impression that Mark Zuckerberg is basing his giant company on a concept that the world isn't yet ready for. Consider Apple with the iPhone. Apple was able to change the world, but Meta's Horizon World, the company's flagship metaverse offering, is a disaster. Do you have any idea how much money was wasted on this? Its construction was about $15 billion. Allow us to take you into the metaverse so you can see what we mean. You don't do anything, you just walk around in this awful virtual environment, meet other people and pick up objects for no apparent reason. As you can see, it's very boring and unattractive and everyone wonders how Mark Zuckerberg and his team of highly qualified executives could have imagined that the metaverse would be their company's selling point. So was the $15 billion spent wisely? Perhaps Zuckerberg is right that VR will enable human connection in a manner that other technology simply cannot. However, is Meta genuinely capable of producing something that, in the words of Oculus Creator, it's bad today, but it may be fantastic in the future? Horizon Worlds is undoubtedly a subpar product that isn't enjoyable, and what's worse is that it's crippled the primary source of income. In 2008, Sheryl Stamberg, a Google advertising executive, was hired by Facebook to serve as its chief operating officer. She would balance Mark's reckless behavior in those early days, but she was also important in establishing what would launch Facebook into the stratosphere. Advertising that is extremely effective based on user personal data. It was so successful that the very first workers became wealthy. Consumers suffered, but the company didn't really care. When users learned they were being taken advantage of, they totally detested it, but since the business was profitable, it didn't matter. Apple then transpired. 
Tim Cook ordered that iPhone users could turn off ad targeting in 2021, costing Meta billions of dollars. Did you know that people who use iPhones spend more money than Android users? This made Apple's action extremely harmful to Facebook. Meta is a corporation that isn't enhancing its main goods due to its evaporated income. Meta focuses on appropriating other elements from other platforms, like reels from TikTok and putting them into Instagram, rather than improving user interface and user experiences. However, competing with one of the world's top social media algorithms is difficult. Reels are less profitable than Instagram's other offerings, and regarding the user experience, Instagram is currently overrun with advertisements and Meta is veering further from its initial concept. Facebook formally pioneered changes to the social media stream. This phase is over. Early in 2022, Sheryl Sandberg left Meta. Mark Zuckerberg is currently a ruler without boundaries. Facebook has let thousands of employees go. According to Zuckerberg, excessive investment was the problem. He doesn't seem to think about doubling down on the metaverse will be a problem for investors. On November the 10th, 2022, he admitted, Unfortunately, things didn't turn out as I had hoped. Online commerce has not only returned to prior trends, but the global economic depression has gotten worse. Our revenue has been significantly lower than anticipated due to competition. I acknowledge that I made a mistake. Now, beyond its financial problems, Meta is under investigation by the FTC and other lawmakers. Antitrust activists are looming, threatening to either break up the corporation or make it more difficult for them to just purchase companies as they could in the past. TikTok is consuming Meta's Facebook and Instagram. Even though older individuals often have more money, advertisers prefer to target the younger generations. Short version, Meta is experiencing an identity crisis while dealing with a tyrant with a narrow vision. So what are the options? From the outside, it appears that some introspection is necessary. Zuckerberg might want to embrace the fact that Meta is already two separate organizations. One business is a technological enterprise seeking to establish the metaverse. The other company is a social media and advertising company with a lost vision. Perhaps it's time to have the social media operated by someone else. Meta still has close to 4 billion customers, which is the sole shining sign of optimism. There is a lot of opportunity to change things, but will they? Do we even desire that? What if there was a metaverse created for us by someone else? So what do you think, guys? Please feel free to comment below and engage in the discussion.